Hey folks, Don DeRosa here. Um, today is another day where I take a random question on the internet for real estate investors and I answer which I think is a question that other people may have. Um, today's question comes from a Facebook group and he's a good friend of mine. I've known him for 20 years. Jonathan Rexford and his Facebook group is subject to real estate investing. So if you get a chance and you're interested in subject two, go check out his Facebook group. But the question today is, comes from a guy by the name of Logan Veer. Don't know Logan, but his question is, is such that it says here, if you take a mortgage subject to and leave the existing insurance in place. So if somebody deeds you a property, you take it over subject to, uh, and you just, leave the existing insurance in place, what happens in case of an insurance claim? Will the insurance pay out to the former owner? Well, the answer, the short answer to that is yes. If you don't amend that policy, you might be in for a, a, a rude awakening because the insurance policy, when you take over a property subject to, the loan is still in the homeowner's name. Therefore, if they're paying an escrow, uh, if they're payments are going in escrow, they have an escrow account for their insurance. Well, let's call it State Farm or whatever co insurance company. That declaration page is filled out according to the homeowner when they got the original loan. Well, when you take over that subject too, depending on how you take title to that, if you put it into a trust or an LLC or whatever, that declaration page must change. Okay. And Jonathan does a great job. He's been in this business for 20 years. He does a great job explaining it. Uh, so if you want to go over there and check it out. But basically, the thing that I want to kind of reiterate with you is you need to, in my opinion, you can alter that. And if you do alter that, just remember one thing. When you take an existing insurance policy, you need to add your name to that policy. If you're going to take the existing one, the homeowner is still going to stay on that policy. So if there's a claim when the insurance company or when the insurance company writes the check, there's going to be you or actually if you just amend the existing policy, it's going to be the insurance company, the check's going to be written to the insurance company, excuse me, the mortgage company it's going to be written to the homeowner and it may if when you amend that is going to be written to you as long as you add yourself as an additional payee on there so that check will come in the name of three people or three entities so it could create one hell of a problem for you if you don't have the right documentation when you buy the property subject to uh, so specifically what I mean is if you don't have a power of attorney, a good power of attorney that allows you to, to do those types of functions, they may be issuing you a check that you can't cash. So you have to be very, very care careful when you're doing the insurance. So the way I would typically do it is we typically put a property into a trust or you could put it into an LLC, but we change the policy altogether. I like to change the entire policy. And there's companies around the country that can do that. You probably shouldn't go to just your local insurance company because chances are they don't know they don't know much about it. They may try to issue you a business policy. They may not understand it. They may not understand how to write it. So um, you will want to get an insurance policy or an insurance underwriter that knows about subject to loans. Okay. And there are a few, if you want to message me or put the links in the comment, I'll put that out there in the comment section. But, um, so I get a new policy on the property. I list the mortgagor, which is the bank or lender. I list, if I typically put it into a trust, but if you were listening to an, listed it as an LLC, you would want to list the trust name or the LLC's name and then your name as additional payees, right? And you may even want to list the homeowner since it's the subject to uh, and behind them write the 
the acronym A-T-I-M-A, as their interest may appear, okay? But if you're putting it into a trust, for example, you would list the trust and then you as the trustee, so, and leave the homeowner off because you also file a power of attorney that lists you as the attorney in fact. So the bank will issue that check with only two names now, the mortgagor, whoever the lender is, and you as the trustee or you as the LLC. So that's why I replace them. But if you go in and you change the existing policy, make sure you change it and make sure um, you get someone else to do that for you. You don't want to you don't want to change that on your own. You want, a, that's why I change it. I have a whole new policy. Now you'll have to send that to the bank or to the lender. They'll have to add that to the escrow. They'll issue you probably a refund for whatever's remaining. Um, and then you'll use your power of attorney to be able to cash that check, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have any other questions on that, that's the easiest way to do that. So if you have any other questions on that, or if that's not any clear or it needs clarity for you, put your comments down below. I'm happy to answer anything. Um, again, this was a question taken off of uh, Jonathan Rexford's subject to Facebook group. So um, if you wanna get more information on that, by all means, go check out his Facebook group. If you'd like more information about me, you can ch subscribe to my channel, click, click the subscribe button. We do this all the time. Like I try to do one of these at least every day where I pick a random question. So if you'd like to you know, learn from what others are asking, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and also leave us comments at below. And, or if you have a question of your own, please go ahead and leave the question and I'll be happy to answer. All right, until tomorrow, thank you very much. Have a good day.